All right, what up y'all, it's Matt. So I'm rebuilding my Yamar diesel tractor engine and I got to the governor, it needed to be adjusted. There was no information like this online. It was super hard to figure out. The manual was no good, obviously. So I'm making a video to help you guys. So if you have a Yamar tractor with a 2TR20-A or a similar engine or possibly a marine engine, this should work for you guys if your engine looks like the thumbnail. Let's check it out. All right, so here's the instructions right here. I'll post links to this in the description where y'all can read it in its entirety, or you can just pause it right here. But I had a very hard time finding this. This is off of a John Deere 950 manual because it's the same tractor as these uh, Yanmars. So it's the same setup with the linkages and stuff. So if yours looks like this, and you need that document check out the description because it's going to be down there and it was impossible to find on the internet i had to do major detective work so pause it here if you need to read it or get it down there all right so i'm down here at the throttle lever if you look right here if yours has got this one like this it should work well it's got the optional foot lever here but uh i haven't seen any way to adjust this in the manual so it's gonna just have to kind of be what it's gonna be once you adjust this so you see it's got that port there and that port there. Um, you get in here, do not take the fuel pump off. If you take this off, you're gonna have to readjust shims and stuff and recalibrate it if you try to take it apart. Don't take this thing off unless it's bad. Don't do it, don't do it. So trust me. <laughs> um, it's got this spring up here. You're supposed to disconnect this spring. And you're supposed to come over here and look at this. All right, so if you look at the front of the tractor, you'll see this nut. It's like right there. Um, it's got this right here on it. It's an adjuster. So it's got a lock nut and then the adjustment. And when you take this off, you see it's got a flat head, you know, cut in it. So you come over here and you look at this. Now we got the governor arm right here, that spring right there. You're supposed to disconnect that to adjust this thing. And then we got this spring shaft that goes all the way over, comes out the front. And then we have the, the other arm here in the back. Let me, let me move it for you. So you see, there's the shaft that comes out the front, there's this linkage arm, and then there's another one here. And there's an adjustment screw here. All right, so the manual mentions this screw. It says to loosen it uh, and then push it all the way like this because this has got a slot in it so it slides back and forth. But I got that thing pushed all the way like that towards the driver's seat and just tighten back down. And then now we need to adjust this other stuff. Don't mind the spring. That's just, you know, I got it out of the way. But you see that dot? Okay, you see that 90 degree surface? It's supposed to be just like that, splitting that dot, just like that. So not like that, not inside. It needs to be split on that line. I know it seems intricate and silly, but that's how they say to do it. It needs to be split on that line right there. So if your plunger is stuck and not sliding freely like this, uh, you have other issues. You need to get that thing freed up and moving around. But first step, the end goal is to have it like that, splitting that dot. So we need to adjust these linkages to get it like that. Keep this in mind. So when that thing is splitting that dot, you want this, okay? You see these right here? This lever to barely rest on that spring. You want it to just touch it but not compress it. So you see, that's compressing it. That's not what we want. We want it to just touch and not compress like that. And then we're gonna go check the dot and look and see, see if it's splitting the dot. If it is, we'll adjust it out or in using this screw. Let's check the dot. All right, so the dot's not on there. Look, I'm adjusting the screw, adjusting the screw, adjusting the screw out. And you'll see it's gonna get right there, split it. That's it, right there, split. See, it's barely touching on there and it's splitting the line. It's not compressing it, just touching the surface of that spring down in here, and it's good. And that's how it says to do it. And I hope that clears some stuff up for you guys, because this, I have been looking at this for a day now, and I figured out how to do it, so I'm sharing it with y'all. Hook your spring back up, because that'll get in the way. Hook it back up, 
and then uh, yeah, put the cover on with two new gaskets and you should be good to go. This cover and this cover, you should be good to go. So when you're done, take this, tighten it down, you know, hold, put a screwdriver in there so it doesn't move. Tighten that down, tighten this down, bam, done. All right, y'all, that's it for the video. Should help someone out. Check the link in the description for the documents. Don't forget to subscribe while you're down there for the uh, full EMR rebuild video. I'll check y'all on the next one. Peace.